I recently had to change this membrane out of a WRO 300. It's a small RO unit sold by Marco Purification for dialysis. It's a, like a single membrane reverse osmosis system. It's a small little thing, but uh, the reason we had to change it was because the membrane wasn't performing very well. The product water was around 60 microsiemens and that was with no consumption the product water recirculating back into the feed side of the membrane and then if you consumed any water the product conductivity would shoot up over 100 microsiemens and our percent rejection uh, you know was below 95 percent when we weren't using water and it would dip into the upper 80 upper 80s uh, if we were using any water so we attempted to do a low pH cleaning, a high pH cleaning, and none of those did anything. So we decided it was time to change the membrane. Uh, we also tried a citric acid cleaning as well, just, just for the kicks. We hadn't really ever used that before, but we thought we would try it out and it, st it didn't do anything either. But we went and got a new membrane, replaced it, and I thought I'd cut this one open just to look at it. It's kind of interesting. But um, I don't know, this is what I would call a foul membrane. It was still producing a decent volume of water, but the quality had gone way down. And when I cut it open, you know, you can see just a lot of filth in there. I don't know exactly what had clogged it in. I mean, it's black. Who knows? Maybe there's some carbon. We do a good job of rinsing our carbon tanks out. We use a carbon filter as well, and a pre-filter. We have a pre-filter between the carbon filtration and the RO. Hopefully catch the fines and whatnot. But So I don't know what that is. Don't care. I'm not going to find out, and I'm not going to make claims that I know what it, that is. Um, but I don't know. Looking at it makes you think. I can understand why that thing can't make water or good quality water anymore. It looks like it's done. It's done working. Um, this right here is the membrane housing. This is the top end cap. It's got your product water and your reject. And this is just the gauge so that you can measure what the reject pressure is. And then here you got the, the feed side of the membrane housing. And that connects this side of the membrane. And this the center piece is plugged so that um, it's isolating the product water from the feed water. Here's your brine seal. So the brine seal presses against this canister and forces the water through the membrane. And uh, here's one portion of the membrane right here. You can see the, the multiple lev levels or layers. And there's tons of videos online and documents you can read about it but i believe this uh, this might be the membrane right here and it's definitely dirty down in this section and i believe this might be a spacer between two layers of membrane oh. and then here's this another spacer right here so you know if you want to learn about construction of membranes and they do differ from manufacturer to manufacturer on what materials they use but here's an example and that's all all these layers are like put together, wound up tightly into that. And then the water that works its way all the way through the membrane ends up having an escape path through here. And that's the pur purified water right here. And all this is the dirty water that will go down the drain. Anyway, the membrane would, you know, this is it'd just sit in there like that. And that's how you pressurize that vessel and get purified water. Well, this stuff's pretty nasty, whatever it is. I mean, it wipes right off, but I don't know. There's time for a new one. Also with the spiral mount wound membranes, you can also, I mean, it makes sense in theory that the outer edges would be cleaner. 
because they'll have the least contact time with water. And as you go further and further in, it's getting dirtier and dirtier and you can kind of see that here. It's really black in the center. And then all the way on the outer edges, it's pretty clean. It's not near as dirty because it, out there it doesn't have to touch as, the same volume of water. That's it, this WRO 300 membrane. Uh, it's fouled, I replaced it, and now we're making good water again.